Hi everyone, this is part 8 in my video series featuring the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. In this segment, I will be showing you how to use the button foot to sew on a button. I will be showing you how to sew on a traditional two-hole center button, and I will also be showing you a technique for using your sewing machine to attach a button with a shank. The first thing I'd like to show you is how to set up your machine to sew on a button. This is the foot that you will use to sew on a button. It's foot M. And I know it's difficult to see, but right at the top it says M. Go ahead and install that in your machine by placing it under the presser shaft and lowering your presser foot until it snaps into place. The next thing you need to do is lower your feed dogs. This little lever controls your feed dogs. Press it over to the left and notice that your feed dogs will drop. This is the last step in the series of setting up your machine to sew on a button. Press the arrow over to the right until you get to number 13. Notice the icon of a button. Press the button directly below and that will access the button sewing feature on this machine. This is the front display of your machine and there are a couple of things here that I'd like to point out before I show you how to sew on a button. The first thing is shows you a picture of the button foot that you need to install in your machine. And the second is the edit button. Now on the right with these two buttons it shows you that your stitch length is set to zero because your feed dogs are dropped. Now this minus and plus button are the buttons you will use to adjust the width of your zigzag to accommodate the width of the holes in the center of your button. Now I'm ready to show you how to sew the button on with your machine. I'm using a standard plastic button that has two center holes. Place it underneath your presser foot and lower the presser foot onto your button. Now be careful to align the holes in your button with your needle. So first with your hand wheel go down into your left hole of your button, then down into the right hole of your button. Now notice that was very very close. Now the last thing you want to do is to hit your button with your needle. That could cause damage to your machine. So now I've, I've realigned my button just a little bit and now I'm ready to sew. Press your foot controller and that should be enough. And your button is nicely sewn on to your fabric. Now the other type of button I'm going to show you how to attach with your machine is a button that has a shank. Now we're back at the display menu on your machine and you will access stitch 101. So press the right arrow until you get to stitch pattern 101. This stitch pattern is an eyelet. Now it suggests that you use foot B, so we will be installing foot B into the machine and stitching an eyelet hole. Now I'm back at the sewing area of your machine and as you can see I've already installed foot B and I'm going to slide the feed dog lever back over to the right to re-engage them as we sew the eyelet stitch. This is the small button with the shank 
that I will be showing you how to attach to your fabric. The first thing you need to do is slide in your fabric, lower your presser foot, and start your machine. The machine is going to stitch a very nice, clean, finished eyelet hole all the way around. I like to go around twice just because I think it gives it a little bit more cover and it makes a nicer looking eyelet. Now very gently with a small pair of scissors I opened a hole in the center of the eyelet take my button shank and press it through to the back and then you place your shank pin right through the shank of the button. And your button will stay on very very securely but this button is removable for laundering and dry cleaning. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos on the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. I hope you found this very interesting and informative when it comes to sewing buttons on with your sewing machine. Have a happy creative day. Bye now.